Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Video Magical and Mac 20 Questions and we're back looking at the filters and making filters for Final Cut Pro 10. So what I've done in this one here is I've taken out the echo filter that I did in the last movie and I've put in a high pass filter instead. What I want to do is find out how it's going to work out if we put the generator in there as well. So let's have a generator for a lens flare and we'll drag that and drop that into our group 2. So we've got the both things in there. You can do some stuff with the lens for it if you want to. You've got all this sort of stuff in the HUD, the heads up display. And again, we're just going to leave that as it is and see what it looks like when we get into Final Cut Pro 10. So let's just uh, leave that exactly as it is. Maybe I'll bring that just a bit further forward. Okay, so there we go. We've got the uh, lens flare a bit further forward in the timeline. Let's just publish that and see what we get when we use it in Final Cut. Again, we go to File, Save. Let's go to File, Save As. Call this one High Pass with Flare. Again, we're going to put it into the Stylize, and it's going to go into Amazing One. Let's click on Publish. So here we are in Final Cut Pro 10 now. And you can see that in this area over here, where I've got his Echo 1, which is looking different now, because what happened was, as I clicked on save on the previous one when I was working in the same file and I should have clicked on save as so I'll have to go back into that one there to put it back to the way it was before so anyway let's take this filter here and we're going to drag this onto a different one so we're going to drag this onto this one here and we'll have to let it render while that's doing its rendering let's just take this here and open in motion and put it back to the way that it was just to show you that you can go from Final Cut back into this one here into motion to do what change you need to do so we need to select those two things there and delete them and go back to our library and then our library was using filters and the one we was using was called echo drag that drop that over there and then all we would need to do then is to click on save and once that's saved, it'll be back the way it was to be used in Final Cut Pro 10. So the thing has done its rendering, and now we're going to do is press play. And we can see that we've got our flare in there, and we can also see that we've got that horrible effect. So what we might want to do with that one there, for instance, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a copy of that there. Let's just put this over here for the moment and I'm going to do a paste of that. That's pasted there. Now what I want to do is I want to take this and I want to put it over the top of this. What I want to do is I want to line these up so that they're perfectly aligned on top of each other. Let's get our playhead and put it there. Let's move this and line it up. Okay, so that's lined up there now. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the high pass filter off that one. Let's turn it off on that one there. And then on this one here, what I want to do with this is I want to change the blend mode on it. So let's see if we can change the blend mode in this here. Compositing blend mode. Let's change it from being normal to overlay. And we'll bring the opacity down a little bit as well. Maybe overlay wasn't the one I wanted. Maybe screen would be better. Take the opacity back up again. No, take it down a bit. Basically what I've done there is I've I've uh, got rid of the awful effect that was there and put it so that it's a little bit more useful perhaps. I'm sure that probably wasn't the best way to try and use the flare within these filters or within these effects and we'll have to look at another way of putting a flare into our Final Cut Pro. So there you go, another look at how to do Final Cut effects using Motion 5. And we will have another look at what we can do in Motion 5 for use in Final Cut Pro in another video. Yes, it's that time again. It's time for clicking that subscribe button and subscribing to the Wizard Gold Mac 20Q channel. And you'll know when the next video is coming out and it's ready for you to watch.